Okay, let's show you how this works. This is Mossy Head Bait Company's patented uh, new lure called the Stuff Minnow. This is made out of an extremely durable, translucent mesh. I mean, look, you can actually see my hand on the other side of that mesh, but it's very, very strong. Okay, and the way this works, you just, you know, this is the simulating going to the line to your reel. It's got a bullet weight on the inside. And we're going to stuff this with that uh, mullet and uh, Middenhaden oil mixture. All right. And there you go. Oh, he's close, but yeah, we got him on the inch and a half stuff minnow. And you can see that stuff man around the corner of his mouth there. Well, oh, man. Ah. Okay, real quick on how to build the uh, stuff minnow lure. Okay, you start out with the uh, basic uh, mesh lure, the two incher. We make one and a half, two, and three inch. And, uh, You take your fishing line. Now this is kind of a crucial part of this. You have to double the line over. Double it over. And then you push it through the front of the lure. If you didn't do that, trying to get a single strand through that mesh lure is very hard. Okay, so once you get the line on the other end, you know, the lure slides up and down. Uh, slip lead, but the bullet, uh, the bullet one uh, fits just perfect with the head of this lure. Okay, so now you got your uh, your weight on. Now this is the uh, basic uh, culprit um, uh, plastic worm, but you do have to cut it. And if you take a look here, basically this front part right here. We're cutting that off right there. And that's what's left. And this is where you're going to be putting your hook. Put your hook on there. And then the whole lure, the whole lure just comes together then. See how that works? Just all pulls together. And now you're ready for bait. So to bait up, all you do is, now take a look at here. You've got the space between the weight right here, the weight's right here. And then that's the end of the plastic lure right there. So you got this much distance. Snapper and Black Creek, okay. I can see that. <laughs>
big difference today is is we've got the stuffed minnow stuffed with fish bites and we're using small chartreuse curly tail okay oh these trout are fun aren't they oh that's another that's another keeper trout that's another keeper oh yeah and the thing is boy They don't spit that, spit that out like they would another lure because that thing is baited. They get that in their mouth, boy, and they taste that bait. And I mean, they want it. Whoo! Oh, I'm gonna straighten it up here. And what I got here is I got some shrimp in, in my bait injector here. And I am, uh, Putting it in my stuff minnow using a sharp truce tail. Look how, look how pretty that goes together. And uh, right. first fish of the day. That's a keeper trout. Most people are not gonna have in their tackle box. But I like doing one shrimp at a time so I can really hammer it. Don't be shy. Whack it. You want to turn that into paste. Turning. Okay, now that I got my bait prepped up, now that is, uh, about 20 shrimp and that will last me all day and probably a half a day in the next fishing trip. Shrimp pulverized and in a paste form, you can add other scents to it now so to really supercharge your lure. And I'm going to be adding some Gulf Live shrimp. So I'm just going to spray that. Okay, we've got one on. Might have a keeper there. I think we do. Good fish. I got him on the, the stuffed worm. I'm using a jig jacket with a worm bait in it but no it's not a one use uh, you can clean uh, the bait out of these and use them again so there in the top of the lure there is a weight so you just press the weight out and as the weight comes out you can see it's pushing pushing the bait out so most of the bait is something like that. And I like using a screwdriver head. And I just basically put it in there and start working the bait out. Like that. And you can see how the bait comes out. And shake the bait out. And the bait coming out. Shake it out. Red again. Shake it out. Don't shake it on. Shake. Shake. Come on. And there you go. Now what I would do now is just kind of set that out on the ledge and let the sun dry uh, the tiny bits of shrimp that are still in there. And then once it's dry, you just work the bait like this and that dried piece of the shrimp just fall out. Take your crappie nibbles, put your, in this particular case, I'm gonna put, uh, see how easy, it's almost like it is, it's actually made. So I got three crappie, crappie nibbles in there now. Now I'm gonna pull everything together 
push these all together. And then all I'm gonna do is just roll the lure a little bit. And see how those nibbles, they take exactly the shape of the lure. Thank you.